Actually, there is a way to go back to Windows 10 even after 10 days. Today, I'm going to show you how to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. But first of all, I want to say thank you, Brian. You are the best. Literally, you made my day. Thanks to Brian, now I have such a possibility to buy better laptop. Thanks to you, I will be able to create more content and of course, it will be much faster. Thank you so much, my man. And let's get back to our video. Today, we're going to talk how to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. And you know, a lot of people after installing Windows 11 realize that they like Windows 10 more. There is a lot of other reasons why people want to go back to Windows 10. For example, I made a lot of video how to install Windows 11 on unsupported PC. And first of all, you need to know that if you want to install Windows 11 on unsupported PC, you may have driver's issues because Windows 10 is well optimized for all the devices. So you can find a lot of different drivers for your model, but you can find the same drivers for Windows 11. First of all, I want to mention one important thing. If you use Windows 11 for a long time and then you want to go back to Windows 10, it's not the best idea to use third-party software to clone all your application back to Windows 10 because probably they will work incorrectly. So definitely I could not recommend to do this. I recommend to do clean install. But the main question is, if you do a clean install, of course, you need to save your files, save your data, photos, videos, etc. So I recommend to use an external hard drive to save your files. You can use an SATA adapter or you can use a USB stick to save all your files. But even if you don't have HDD drive, SSD drive or a flash drive, you can use a cloud for this. For example, OneDrive or Google Drive, it all depends on you. Definitely, I recommend to save your file before doing this, before installing Windows 10. My friends, as you can see, we are in Windows 11. I upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And if for some reason you want to go back to Windows 10, you have this option. For this, you need to go to the settings, Click on it. Then you need to select system. Scroll down a little bit until you will see recovery option. Click on it. And voila, you will find this option. Go back to Windows 10. If this version isn't working, try going back to Windows 10. And yes, as I previously said, you have 10 days to go back to Windows 10. You need to click here, go back. In this window, you can check any of these options. Click next. It all depends on you. You can check for updates or select no thanks. I will click here. Very important message. What you need to know. This might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it's done. Leave your PC plugin in and turn on. After going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs. You'll lose any changes made to settings after the upgrade to Windows 11. I previously mentioned that you need to reinstall some application if you go back to Windows 10 because they may work not properly. Then you need to click next. Okay, Windows remind us to not forget the password. Click next. Actually, that's all. Thanks for trying Windows 11. Now you have an option to go back to Windows 10 without any problem. I want to remind you that this method works only 10 days because after that, you will not have this option in the Windows settings. So what to do after 10 days? Actually, there is a way to go back to Windows 10 even after 10 days. So for this, you need to open your browser, Microsoft Edge browser. Then we need to type next, Windows 10, download. So literally what we're going to do, we're going to download Windows 10 ISO file. You can use Microsoft official website. And actually I recommend to do this using this website because in most cases it will be much better. Download Windows 10, link will be in the video description. Then you need to scroll down a little bit until you will see create Windows 10 installation media. You need to click on download tool now. Wait a few seconds. 
Media creation tool is Microsoft official utility which gives you possibility to create a bootable USB stick. But in our case we can also use this tool to download Windows ISO file on our computer. Yes, it's possible. So after downloading media creation tool you can open it, open file, then you need to click accept, getting a few things ready. What do you want to do? Upgrade this PC now or create installation media? In our case, we just want to get Windows 10 ISO file. Click here, then select next. If for some reason you want to change language or something else, you can uncheck this option and then decide which language will suit you the best, but I will leave everything by default. Click next. Now please pay attention. You need to select ISO file. Click here, then select next. Everything is very simple, you just need to select the place where the ISO file will be saved. So I will select desktop and click save. It may take a while, so definitely be patient and take your time. Voila, we successfully downloaded the Windows 10 ISO file on our desktop. Now we can click finish. And of course you need to wait until window will automatically close. So what we need to do next, click on the ISO file, double clicking. Then you need to find setup option, click on it, wait until loading process will finish. As you can see, we can install Windows 10. In this case, we need to click next. In this window, we need to click accept. I'm going to tell you the truth. You will not have option to keep personal file and apps, keep data. You will have only one option to select nothing. Yep, that's mean you need to reinstall your apps programs, etc. Select this option, click here. Also, it's checking for some updates. As a final result, we can downgrade to Windows 10, but as you can see, we don't have option to save any files. One more time, I recommend you to save your file on USB stick, external hard drive or cloud. It all depends on you. After that, you can click install and you will go back to Windows 10. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. Brian, one more time, thank you. And if you want to know how to get awesome live wallpapers for free, definitely I recommend to click here on this video.